This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. It's time once again to check Fort 110. So Corey from Tennessee says he's looking back on some previous episodes and he wanted to give us a call out for this page kite setup, which he loved, by the way. Good job, Darren. And he said, remember to set your SSH proxy to HTTP 443, which is required by Putty. So very interesting. That's just a little FYI for all of you guys. Thank you yep. so much. I appreciate <laughs> you guys sending that in. What about, uh, so uh, Corey um, yes. is not the only one that emailed us, actually. We got no, a couple of emails. No, we have emails. a couple of ones this week. So Martin from Louisville asks, I have backtracked and watched a few episodes of Hack 5 concerning multi-boot USBs. What is your current favorite to date, X-Boot or Katana? Or is there another one that you suggest? So what do you suggest, Aaron? I do this. All three of these? No, I, I literally, this is what I do. I just, you just stick them all on. I just carry multiple USBs. So I know which, it's not the hacker thing to oh, do, okay. but. Oh, okay, so you have a different distro in each one. Yeah. You don't that's have what I'm like any I, kind of multi boot. I just use a bunch of. The thing is, we go to enough trade shows that yeah. we just get so many USBs that's that true. I never really have. But for somebody that doesn't have a lot of USBs, Both maybe are they good just options. have one big, uh, you know, 16 I haven't drive. used I haven't used X boot. So maybe we need to do a segment on that. I did a segment on that. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Then did you like it? Because I know that you're I a did, fan of yes. both. Well, you, and you also like hacking from a cave, if yes. you will. Yes. Yes. So I guess it really, I, I guess what it did, comes down to is, are the tools in Katana going to suffice, or is there stuff mm -hmm. that you want that's outside of that that you could do with Xboot? So yeah. you know, either way. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Katana. That's one of my one of my definite favorites. But um, it is it is very optional as to which one works for you the best. So All right. let us know what you want. And Salem's getting his Android on, huh? Or <laughs> James, James from Salem. James from Salem. Uh -huh. So James from Salem says, Darren, glad to see you're finally getting into Tasker. It's a wonderful program where your imagination is the limit. When I started getting into the pineapple, I discovered that Tasker could give me an automated way of making sure I wasn't the victim. The profile that he is using is, and we'll put this in the show notes, if Wi-Fi is near Yasagur, attack ABC 132, Alarm will go off, alarm level 7, Wi-Fi set to off, play loudest, most obnoxious alarm that he has, and pop up a notification that says, warning, pineapple, within range, warning, warning. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Especially if you like, couple it with the TTS engine and get yes. it to speak that. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> warning, I, commander, warning. <laughs> you know, I bet that could be uh, kind of ported over to a Linux cron job oh, or something. Just yeah. using IW. Mm -hmm. So I, I know, I love it. It's, it's basically like cron... It's, it's like... Shell scripts for Android, and I don't know why it took me so long to, to get over <laughs> to it, but man, it is so cool. Thank you. If you guys have some more of these, send them to feedback at hack5.org. I'd love to see what everybody's doing. Maybe we'll do a roundup. Ooh, That'd yes. be really fun. I love yeah, a roundup. Yeah, that would be good times. So we'll be right back right after this quick break with Technolist Photo of the Week and Trivia. If you're setting up a website to start a new business, showcase your portfolio, publish your blog, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. And when you think about that new domain, consider getting yourself a .com. .coms are the original. They're globally understood. It immediately lends credibility to your website. No matter what, you could just put cats up there, but put a .com on it, oh yeah. Plus, if you're interested in investing in like buying and selling domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. And you can find yourself those .com names over at domain.com. Shannon and I love them because they're affordable, reliable, they're easy to use, plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and the great customer support makes it a really fun place to do business. And get this, Domain.com are huge fans of Hack5 and fans of yours, so they want to hook you up, get an additional 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5 at Domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off and big savings, so don't forget to use the coupon code HACK5 when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Technolus photo of the week. Woo! Oh my God, we did we did just do that. Yeah. All right, so Donnie sends us a photo of his hacker Christmas tree from the holidays. He said our tree, and yes, I am keeping recording this. Uh, he said our tree has LED lights, 3.5 inch floppies, RAM, SCSI terminators, two prong to three prong power adapters, etc., as ornaments. His favorite was the disc 
deconstructed SCSI hard drive that we used for internals as ornaments and the controller card, along with a roll of electrical tape as their tree topper. Oh yeah, yeah that's gotta have the electrical tape. And the CAC-6 CAC yeah. cable as garland. I love it. Yes, yes, that's pretty much the best. Of course, he sent that about a month ago during Christmas. He doesn't have his Christmas trees We read trees each and every one of the emails that you send to feedback at hack5.org. Eventually, we really do. Eventually, uh, you can act, <laughs> if you put uh, Technolist uh, in the subject line, it makes it a lot easier for us to find those photos. So yes. again, you can send that to that address. Yay! All right, trivia time, I believe. All right. So last week's question was, or actually three Quite a while weeks away. ago, <laughs> what is the transistor count of Intel's Core i7 2600K? And the answer is 995 million. That is a lot of transistors. Now this week's question is, what software used by about 25% of internet users as of December 2011 is open source and uses the Gecko layout engine? And I think I know this one. I know this Answer one. Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some Hack5 swag. If I'm right, here's a hint. I was using it earlier today Shh. on, what? Shh. Okay, fine. <laughs> anyway, we value your feedback. Feedback at hack5.org. That's where you can let us know what you think about the show, what's on your mind, what's in your heart, and uh, we get yes. to all of those. And don't forget, you can always follow everything that we do over at hack5.org slash follow. You'll find links to the conventions that we're going to, social networks, all that good stuff. And if you want to support us directly, hakshop.com. It's the little shop link in the top right on YouTube and, and, uh, and our Speaking website, hack5.org. Yeah. we just re-released the Hack 5 Holiday pine Pineapple under a new name. Oh, yeah. It's the Hack 5 Travel Pineapple, it's and we got brand new UPS rates, so they're much, much lower for oh, our that's internationals. True. That's actually huge. That's yeah. one of those things we're finally, like, to... to um, We've been been, like fighting tooth and nail to get these rates like under 50 bucks to this isn't the most exciting TV but we're excited about it because <laughs> it means that if you're an international customer you can order and get the UPS service for almost the same price that you get our inexpensive USPS yes. except it like flies through customs it's it like takes like a week a to get screaming there. pineapple Instead of 30 days huh? <laughs> a screaming pineapple yeah with parachutes oh. uh, anyway um, <laughs> Uh, anyway. uh, and also check out ThreatWire, ThreatWire.org for all the details. You can join our community and we're talking about all the things that Yay. threaten our privacy, security, and our internet. We love it's our good internet. Times. So with all of that said, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Thrust your techno lust. Bye. Screaming Carnival. Trivia. I don't know why I'm going backwards.